All right, what is up? This is Tim from Madden Community College, and today we're going to look at the uh, 49ers playbook. So the book will be in the description below. Uh, most of you have probably seen it because you're uh, probably from the Reddit. You know, just uh, open it up. Come go uh, follow along with me if you have a computer and a TV set up. You don't have to. Uh, the book's mainly there to uh, be a quick guide. Uh, the video I'm going to do is going to show you how to do it. So uh, let's go to the first uh, formation in this book. Now I'm not going to go over everything. Like I'm not going to go over every single run. I might talk about it. But other than that, I don't like going over every run. It just makes the video longer than it needs to be. So, for example, in single back ace, uh, I love dive, trap, and stretch. And I run them all the time. But I'm not going to show them in this video because why do I need to show you how to run these? Uh, the only thing to note in single back ace is this is a symmetrical uh, formation. So you can flip the play without your opponent knowing. It'll flip the play and there's like no giveaway. So the first play is um, skinny post. Where did it go? Yeah, skinny post. Uh, is that an audible? Yeah, it's an audible. So... Uh, the first way we're going to do this, uh, oops. Uh, we're going to, um, I'm going to hitch the halfback this time, actually. Uh, I don't know why it says out the halfback. Has that been in all my books? Yeah, hitch your halfback. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was, that was a wrong setup. <laughs> I wonder who used that and got it to work. Okay, so we're actually going to hitch the halfback. We're going to drag both tight ends. And this is the, what it looks like. Now you can block the halfback if you want. Uh, that's up to you. I, I hitch him just because um, the, the way this play is set up is you have two drags. Which are, uh, a double drag is going to make your opponent's user like dive for one. Or uh, the both posts will uh, get a little bit more open since the hitch could uh, theoretically pull the safety down. So let's try it. So, the, and then of course the hitch is just a nice route because uh, with all the routes going on around it, it just, uh, it helps get it open like right there. So let's try it one more time and let's try and hit the post. Oh, never mind. Let's just hit Jesnick and watch a fullback just truck some people. That's the best feeling in the world. It's like having, uh, having Jesnick or a Koye or a Madden. Okay, so uh, next play is also audible. It's quick slants. You can run quick slants uh, as is. I like to run these uh, against um, cover two sets, generally. Oh no, cover three sets, right? Which one was that really good against? Man, I can't think of things today right now. Uh, yeah, I like to run this just because um, you, can hit, you can fit the ball usually right there versus most defenses. And versus some... Oh, excuse me, my indigestion. Uh, some defenses, that's, that's a really nice uh, catch and run. Because uh, it'll just be there, and you just take it as much as you can. Uh, the way I have the Niners set up, uh, I actually have Trent Taylor in at number two wide receiver because he's the Niners' best route runner. He's basically um, Edelman or uh, Amendola. Uh, there's not many short, good route runners in the league. Maybe Hilton, but Taylor's not as fast. So that's he's a good t type player to have in the scheme. Uh, I love, this is a good audible too. Uh, I, j I prefer to have running quarterbacks, like good enough to run, like Andrew Luck with 80 speed and stuff. But uh, you don't need it. So what I like to do in this uh, this particular play, the, uh, what's it called? PA rollout right tackle. Uh, we're going to streak Taylor or fade him, doesn't matter. Uh, and if it's cover three, we're, we're either better off smoking him or comebacking him or leaving him on the comeback. So I'm gonna, we're gonna smoke him because uh, this looks like a cover four four three or cover three four four. Yeah, so we're gonna do that, and then just hit the tight end over across the middle. The reason we smoked it is was uh, we want to keep the uh, corner down. So this looks like cover two. So if we we're running this play versus cover two, what we want to do is actually um, streak Jesnick and maybe uh, drag Taylor so you have an underneath route. And then what's, what's going to happen is uh, you should have X right there. <laughs> that that kind of concept works out of most plays. 
uh, it's just a nice thing to use. And then you have halfback zone, which is basically halfback stretch. It it's more of a over the tackle run, but it's basically halfback stretch. So that was my boy Matt Breida. All right, so let's go into the next play. It's a curl flat. Um, let's see where you go, curl flat. Uh, now I don't recommend curl flat anymore. Like uh, back in Mutt 15, this was actually a play I loved running because it was so good. But uh, with the new option routes, it really throws off the timing for me. So I what I like to do is I take one side and make it the slant, and then I just leave the other side on the curl. So I watch, look for the curl. Wasn't there. Uh, just throw it short. And uh, the reason we do that slant is uh, if it's man-to-man, -man, uh, curl flat sucks. So the slant is your uh, backup plan. Oh, boop. Oh, that was a bad throw. Well, it was open, but Beathard just threw it over him. Alright, let's go to the next play. Okay, so let's look at... Drive you corner. So I called, uh, in the book, I say it's a change of pace play. And what I mean by change of pace play is, is you're going to run this uh, a couple times a game. It's, a, it's like a garbage time or you have the lead play. You really only call this because you don't want to uh, uh, run the same formations and for your opponent to uh, catch up and maybe make a play and get back into the game. That's why you're running these different formations because... Uh, or different plays, because you, you just want to keep getting the ball moving. And <laughs> it's funny how I say that as uh, you have the lead and you don't want to make a mistake and I just threw a pick. But, yeah, it's mainly uh, just something you're going to throw in. Uh, if they haven't seen it before, they'll you'll probably just get like an easy couple yards. Alright, so let's go to single back bunch. Alright, I wonder if R3 can move me on the, uh, move the rock now. Like, I couldn't move the ball for a bit. Alright, Z-Spot. So, Z-Spot is a nice play. Uh, I run Z-Spot all the time. Uh, it's just a nice, like, little concept. It always works. It's worked every year. It's ever been in Madden. Uh, the sucky part about Z-Spot uh, is the only route... There's very few ones that have the Z route like it did last year. And, like, this one has it, but it's an option route. So, it's literally three different routes that Garcon will run. And it, that, that's what sucks about it, because it could be a curl, it could be a post, which you want it to be the post, I wish it could, I could force it to be the post, and then it could be the C route. So that's why we're basically ignoring Garson. Uh, the only reason uh, I even bring up Garson is if everything's covered on the right side, you're going to look for Garson, because he might be open. So the, the reads for this are very easy. Uh, you're just going to look at the Taylor route, which is a spot route. Uh, once he sits in his spot, you're going to see if he's left alone. And if he's left alone, you throw it to him right there. And if he's covered, that linebacker that's covering him, uh, or corn, uh, Cloud Flat, whoever it is, uh, is probably leaving alone uh, Goodwin or Kittle. So let's watch this. So Kittle was wide open because uh, he was watching the spot route. And that's basically all you do for that one. And now I love to use this play to attack uh, users. So the guy I have mic'd right now is that uh, that guy. Uh, most users I know play right here. But the, yeah, so we're going to leave it right there. Uh, what I like to do is I slant my player right there. And that's, uh, that's how I attack my user. So a user, is if you run this enough times, is going to run straight over to uh, the spot or the corner. So what happens then is you uh, you're... Uh, B route should be like right there. Uh, couldn't really throw it because there's no user debate, but you know. Okay, so uh, audibles. Hmm, let's see if I have any audibles I want to talk about. Uh, boot slide. Love boot slide. It's a QB run. Uh, you're going to streak this guy, and it, like coverages like this, you're definitely streaking it, and you're going to cancel play action just throw it to him. Like, the. Uh, in Mutt, you're going to have, like, Randy Moss or someone who's super fast right there. And that should be, like, an easy win. So, this is looks like a cover three. Might be a man-to-man. A man -man. So, what we're going to do is we're going to smoke Garcon. And then we're going to uh, slant uh, Taylor. We're going to motion snap Taylor and get the delay. So, 
what gets open is this route right here, and that's because we smoke routed the uh, uh, left wide receiver, which brought down the cover three uh, deep zone. So Taylor just got right, or Goodwin got right there. Let's just throw the ball away because no one ever runs goal line. I wish EA would update like practice mode or do some other things with practice mode because it's not very good. All right, back to bunch ace. Our next one is going to be the quick pitch. I like the quick pitch versus. Ah, oh, I should have picked a four three bit book. Um, what's the the closest I could get to a four four look is uh, this four three normal. Uh, too bad I wasn't using another controller. Okay, so uh, four three. A lot of popular defenses in the goal line. Why does it lock me? Why can't I just move the ball? If anyone who's watching this in the uh, in the comments, could you write down how to uh, respot the ball? I thought it was uh, L three, but it, it just locks me on the quarterback. See, like it doesn't make sense. All right, so um, yeah, versus these uh, goal line defenses, this is a great goal line play because uh, you can just get that one yard like it's nothing against uh, compressed uh, defenses. And it's just really cool. It's a, it's a nice toss play even outside the uh, goal line. I, I only run it on goal line and maybe like fourth and one, third and one plays. Uh, but I, I like the quick pitch. It's a, it's a really great play. It's it's not as good as the um, uh, one that's taken over the meta right now, that tight slots uh, toss. But it's it's just as good to me like as a uh, situational play. You could even like motion Taylor and then try and get him to get the inside block. Didn't work, but you could try. Okay, next play. Uh, dig return. Alrighty, dig return. Alrighty. So, uh, what I wrote down in there is if it's weird, try it out. The reason we uh, like weird looking plays is because they just are strange so what we're going to do is we're going to street kittle and uh we're going to look for goodwin or the zig so zig wide open go trent taylor all right let's see all right so um the that route on the far left to garcon is really nice against man to man uh, you can't really you can smart route it, but it's not gonna like help it as uh, like uh, a lot of other ones. Cause like I, I got to it, but it didn't. That's why I don't really like that route. Uh, another way you can run this is uh, drag him, motion uh, good uh, Taylor over here. So what happens here is that Taylor's probably gonna be wide open versus most coverages. Just because of the way it works. Because he, everyone's going to the left. He's faking left. And what, he just ends up going right with a zig. So it's, it's a cool little play. It's like a delayed um, in or something. I guess I, I, it is, would be a delayed in. Ooh. Ooh, Bennett just had that weird looking play. Or Avril. Who is that? All right, uh, audible is the next one. Uh, I love spacing. Spacing in the goal line is a really nice play. I'd say make sure your tight end has trucking, because you want to be able to do that. Because uh, in spacing, the only time I run spacing is goal line and plays where I need like one or two yards. Just because uh, that tight end route's generally open. Uh, if if the tight end's not open, Taylor's usually open. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Uh, let me try to throw pa uh, th low passing Taylor. I think that still works this year. No, not at all. Okay, next play. So tight end hook. Let's go tight end hook. Tight end hook. Oh, I'm looking for a formation. What am I doing? I'm so out of it today. Tight end hook. Random play. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag Kittle, and then we're going to motion Taylor over like we did earlier, 
And what's going to happen is we're going to get a weird look and play. We're going to Street Garçon. And now we're going to look for the open man. Now there's so many crossers, something's bound to get open. That's why we uh, run stuff like that. Um, so single back doubles is our next one. Right, single back doubles. Single back doubles, random play. Okay, so it's a good dive. Um, I love dives just because of how quick hitting they are. That's the only reason I, I'm talking about this dive right here. Quick hitting dives are just the best kind of dives. Uh, the audible here is a really nice audible actually. Because um, if imagine you're getting zero blitzed. Uh, so if you're getting zero blitz in a game, uh, what what's your main thing you're thinking of? Uh, you're thinking of maybe slants. So slants would beat zero blitz, of course. They can, but you're more susceptible to the sack. What I like to do against zero blitzes is I audible to something like this. Smart route that far left route to Garcon. And that that route will torch any kind of one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Hey, I was trying to be, do, be cool in the pocket, but eh, didn't have time. Alright, let's try that again. So... Let's see if uh, motioning Garcon will do something. Because uh, with the way zone coverage logic works, uh, you can actually... Um, what's it called? Let's do it this way. Yeah, that way we have like kind of a bench still. Yeah, the way zone logic works is if there's a singled up wide receiver to one side, uh, he's going to um, play man-to-man. -man. So it didn't work here. He got doubled. Which is a shame. Oh, this one's probably zero blitz. There we go. Alright, let's max protect. Eh, didn't work that time. Okay, we'll get it one of these days. I know this play works on the t online all the time for me. I, I r always run it with Randy Moss. There it is. So imagine that safety wasn't there. <laughs> and that would have been a wide open play. Because it beats cover one man, but you have to throw it out to the left and... Bethard isn't that accurate, so it's kind of hard to do. Uh, there's a nice cutback play uh, run in here. Doubles. Yeah. There's a yeah. There's a nice cutback run. Uh, the only reason I like it is because you, you if you're running that dive, they're probably like crash in the middle, and this is it's not power row, but it's kind of the same logic as power row. You have the pulling guard, and then you're just trying to hit the edge. So let's try it one more time. Yeah. Let's go, Brita. Love that card. I, I'm, I'm like kind of. I, I want Brita to have a breakout game in Madden so I can use him. It's my favorite, my favorite player in the league right now. Alright, so the next play is uh, levels. Not, I don't really need to go over this levels, but I will. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna set up all these, uh, this, this playbook. Uh, and cut it up into different chunks. So I'm going to release the full playbook, but I'll also release smaller bits of the playbook because I understand a lot of people don't like watching a full ebook because it is quite long. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to release the full video, and then throughout the week I'll release uh, more shortened versions where it'll be just the single back formations, just the eye formations, just the uh, gun formations, stuff like that. That way, yeah, you guys. Don't have to rewatch a whole video sometimes. Alright, so uh, next play in this formation is Levels Divide. So the Levels Divide, very cool play. Uh, all we're going to do is out the halfback. That's uh, pretty much it. The The cool play thing about that is the halfback's going to get open. Or this guy will get open. So. The half, if the halfback's open, you throw it to him. If the halfback's covered, almost 100% of the time, I guess I shouldn't say 100% of the time, but almost the major, the rest of the time, uh, if you have, don't get, yeah, don't call these plays against goal line. <laughs> but yeah, so almost uh, like 90, maybe, nah, let's go 7 out of 10 times. You can blind throw that, that throw to the Garcon. So, boom. Yeah, yeah, that would have been one of the times you shouldn't throw it to Garcon. So, 
<laughs> yeah, I just love this play. It's a nice little um, thing to throw in. Make sure you get your timing down. You should always get your timing down no matter what play playbook you're in. Alright, single back doubles. This will be the X dagger. Random play. Alright, reads are drag to in, half back to hitch. So uh, we're looking at the drag, then we're looking at Garcon's uh, deep red route right there, and then we're looking for um, the hitch. So if we want to force Breed onto the hitch, we can, but we're going to leave him on the blocking hitch. Uh, another thing you can do is if you don't trust your um, team to get open, uh, you could do something with Trent Taylor to maybe make him a backup option. So I'm going to end him. Alright, so drag, no, no, there it is. Oh, Cam Chancellor and his giant jump. Alright, let's try that again. And that was just a, a lab to good one. Don't be afraid to take your uh, deep shots too in game. Like, obviously, you're not going to see someone in goal line like that, but, you know, if you can take your deep shots, maybe uh, fit this ball way out there to good Oh my god. Never have time in that pocket. Really should have picked a better team to work with, but no. I want my Niners to shine a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. It, if you see single high safeties prob or or one on ones, like I would I would throw that ball to good one. Uh, I'm forcing it right now, but whatever. So uh, let's go back to this. So drag no no in. Oh no time. Alright, so let's try that again. Maybe I have my reads backwards. Yeah, that might be a... I guess streak would be a read if uh, you want it to be. Yeah, I might need to change that in the book. It's probably going to be drag to... Uh, yeah, drag streak uh, in or hitch. So drag streak now. There it is. I love that red route. I just think it, it takes so long to develop. What if we, uh, no, can't smart route it. All right, let's just move on to the next play. All right, PA corner post. Um, all right, so this is a good play against some uh, different type of coverages, so we'll have to do that. Oh, wrong play, but <laughs> All right, doubles. Come back, all right, PA, PA corner post. It was a great formation, or great play, honestly. Uh, this is the one play touchdown stuff. I'm not very good at it, but I know other people are. So I'm just going to give you like the formula. I doubt I'm going to be able to hit them. Because I forgot to even call up specific coverage. Yeah, let's go call up specific coverage first. Um, we'll see. We'll do cover two first. I don't remember the cover four beater right now. Uh, I'll put out a separate video on that later if I remember it. Uh, come back the far right receiver. Uh, this is the general setup if you don't know what they're in. So you're going to com come back uh, Taylor. You're going to motion him left and snap him for the delay. So you're going to actually motion him uh, right next to Kittle and then uh, do the play. So don't do that yet. Still set up the rest. I should probably put that at the end of the book. We're going to slant the far left receiver. So what happens is uh, we just have a whole bunch of decent routes. So Kittle route, Garcon, and Goodwin are all pretty nice routes uh, if you don't know what the play is. So let's motion, snap, uh, and then, yep, just try and get whoever it is up, uh, the ball. <laughs> that was a wide open, but, you know, I didn't, didn't get the play. Uh, the reason we're motioning it like that is you can honestly do that in any play in this entire, like, uh, this formation. Because it, it doesn't really change the play. It just kind of uh, fakes people out. So uh, let's do... Um, yeah, we're in versus cover two. Did I hit a random play again? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, this looks like cover two, so we'll do the cover two setup. Uh, versus cover two, what we're going to want to do is we're going to uh, streak your slot. You're going to drag this guy. Um, I'm going to block my halfback because I don't trust my line. And then you're going to smart route Garcon. 
So what should happen is you are singling out that safety. He's either taking Kittle or Goodwin. He's not going to take Garcon. And then you're just trying to fit that ball into uh, Goodwin or Garcon. That was cover four. So, yeah, that I'm talking about the cover two version, so whatever. All right, let's block the halfback. This looks like cover four again. Why is it in cover four again? <laughs> I threw the only bad pass. Okay, so let's just do the cover. Th show you the cover three version. All right, so for cover three, we're going to slant Garcon. We're going to uh, come back Taylor. It's just like this general setup, but uh, what I like to do if I know it's cover three, uh, max protect. Uh, and then hope, oh, try and buy time in the pocket till good one can get down there. So, yeah, couldn't get it. Plus, you can probably gotta get, be farther back on the field. Let's try that. Can't do a big one play touchdown if it, all the time developing it is uh, like too short. Alright, so this looks like cover two or cover man. So let's do it that way. Well, this looks. This is the cover two setup. Boom. I wonder what play they're in. That was clearly corner three blitz, I think. Okay, so let's cover four again. Uh, what should we? What do you guys want to try and do for cover four? Um, I can't think of the cover four setup. I used to know it too. Um. Maybe it's hitch you, slant you? Is that it? Let me try it. That was a zero blitz. I have no idea. That's a safety blitz. Cover two safety. Cover three safety. Yeah, cover three. Uh, and let's do that. Do that. Do that. Let's try and buy time. And then... We had it. Bad throw, but we had it. So, that's it. Uh, next play is the uh, best formation in single back in this book. And probably uh, one of the best formations in the game. Single back, deuce close. So, in this play, in this uh, playbook, you're al always going to come out in halfback wham or halfback stretch. Uh, you, just, you just are, because wham's one of the best inside run plays. In the game, and uh, halfback stretch is one of the best outside runs in the game. Uh, the other runs are okay. Like I, I throw in counter weak every once in a while. I don't really do it often. So what we're gonna, the first play we're gonna look at is uh, bench. I think it's an audible. So let's come out and uh, play after that. Yeah, most of them are audibles actually. All right, so let's just do bench. Whatever. Alright, so we know how to run bench. Uh, the best thing about wrench is if you, whatever side you see the user, uh, just throw, the, or look at the other bench. So, because the user is always going to attack, uh, when he sees bench, he's going to go straight for the bench. Uh, that's pretty much what's going to happen every single time. So, if he was going for, if, if I snap the ball, I see he's going for Jesnik, I look to the right. Basically it. Um, next play. Let's try and uh, speed this up a little bit. Uh, so we have a shot play right here. Uh, you're going to generally want someone super fast where Jesnik is. So like Evan Ingram. Uh, I think he's the fastest tight end I know about. And if there's any fullbacks that are faster than that, maybe him. So what I like to do is I, sh uh, I drag Garcon. And then I just run it. So I run. And then... Ah, oh, man, I was like running on the, throwing on the run. You can realize it. Let's try that one more time. And that's bench. Alright, one more time. That was an audible. Alright, there we go. So we're, we're running to the right. And we didn't get it. So getting QB contained can really screw over the shot play. I'm not getting it. And I'm also facing a whole bunch of goal lines. Why am I facing goal lines? That's kind of getting annoying. I really should just get my extra controller out. Because, my goodness. Okay. 
Because all you're gonna, you're gonna do is just fake running to the left and then roll right. And there we go. Finally got it, but didn't catch it. Yeah, I don't know why that play frustrated me. I never use it in game anyway. It's just a shot play. All right, so the best play in the book, um, this play. Do whatever you want with the half back. I block them. Uh, I just I want time in the pocket. Uh, your reads are generally going to be um, Jesnick, Taylor, and then Garcon. So Jesnick, no Taylor, yes.